Hi, my name is Marie and I'm a scroll and digitization conservator at the British Library in London. I'm going to show you some unfolding and flattening techniques that you can use when conserving your collection items. It is a good idea to survey your collections for creases, folds, warping and distortion in advance of digitization, as some techniques can take days or weeks. By flattening or unfolding using weights for a prolonged period, these distortions can be reduced significantly. This will make your collections less vulnerable, easier to handle and easier to read or examine. In order to flatten and unfold your collections, you will need spatulas and tweezers, bone folders, weights, sturdy flat boards, labels, interleaving materials and blotters. You will need labels to place on flattening boards so that it is easy to identify which objects are currently pressed underneath. It is wise to date the labels. If you are pressing loose pages, it is important to detail which volume or folder these have been taken from. When unfolding, use tweezers or a spatula to lift the folded area slowly and methodically. Use a bone folder if you have one available, or the nail of your index finger to hold down the fold. To flatten an object under a press, plan in advance how many items you are working with and how large they are. If only a small area needs flattening because of sharp creases or distortions, use a smaller weight pouch. Unfold the folds, Unroll gently rolled edges or corners and keep the surface flat whilst you place the paper blotter or card on top of the object, followed by the weight. Then label the item. If you are pressing larger items, follow the same process with heavier weights and larger boards and sheets of blotters. Depending on the weather conditions and the severity of the damage, flattening can take a few days to several weeks so be sure to leave time for this important step. This tutorial is part of our online video series covering digitization, digital preservation and conservation for the Endangered Archives program. Please feel free to explore these resources at eap.bl.uk slash training videos.